Um, it took a few months, and this happened. It was almost in its own grace. There was like, there was just signs pointing in a different direction. So on, on this music I was working on, on this record, I was probably three quarters of the way through it. And this artist, Richard Prince, yeah. uh, he's one of the great American artists of today. I mean, he's, you know, he does extremely well. So anyway, he said to me, um, what do you think about sending me some of the music that you're working on? And, uh, and I would like to do some artwork. And, and, and if you like it, you can use it. So I thought, uh, you know, I, I, and, I, and I know his work, so I thought, this is a, a lovely idea. Mm -hmm. And I thought, I didn't know what he was going to do. I thought he might have a, a picture or something, an idea for a, a painting or whatever. I, I, I really didn't know. And he ended up doing 10 pieces of art. And, uh, and, and so, and he said, here, here's an idea. Here's something else I was thinking about. I don't know if you'll like this or if you'll like that. And all, all of these options, and they call all kind of expanded on themselves. And then the people um, that came into this project uh, to help me with this after, uh, the, every, everybody ran with the ball. But the, the, the thing was that Richard started this thing rolling. And then this one of the great photographers in the world, Anton Corbin, he is a great filmmaker, photographer, designer, a visionary, lots of things. So we had done some experimenting. And the idea was to take this work that he had started experimenting on, on clairvoyance and film noir. Right, and I thought either way is good for me. You know, <laughs> <laughs> but both things that we yeah. that we love. So anyway, so Anton is involved in the project, and he has all of these different images and all of these things. And then as it is, it went along further and further. Then the master magician Ricky J says, "Clairvoyance, hello, I have one of the greatest archives in the world." on clairvoyance and magic. You should look at my, you know, yeah. um, my archives, and I will contribute to what you're doing um, works from this. So all of these things are kind of pointing in a direction. And, and the only thing to do, I mean, I'm making a CD, and I think, you know, I can't get all of this stuff in a, in a CD. <laughs> close to it. So I had to expand my vision. And in doing so, the materials were so strong and so great, and they were all so wonderfully connected to the music. It was all, you know, it was like the music coming alive with in visuals, and uh, and I was just so enjoying this thing. And then this art director, David Jordan Williams, and Sean Lorenzini. Both came in, and Sean has done many, many packages yeah. and everything, and uh, and and he had worked with uh, my friend Trent Reznor on a, on a package, and it was beautiful what he did, and he really knew about this. He knew where the barometers for something like this were, what you can do and what you can't do, because you can think of all kinds of silly ideas, but actually getting it. So it works and it fits. Right. And, and it's cohesive. And the yeah. project really feels right. like you said. The, the material in there is either an extension of the music or a reflection of the music, depending on how you look at it. I'm, I'm amazed at the cohesiveness of it. There, there's, a, there's a singular singularity, I guess. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that allows you to, to enjoy this in a way that if you just bought the regular disc that become clairvoyant, you don't quite get it. This takes you on a real journey, yeah. almost a, a, a metaphysical journey. Yeah, way. this, this is many, yeah. many times multiplied. Yeah. And so, so anyway, then the, the art director on this, he was so good at connecting and understanding 
where I wanted to go with these things and was able to complement those yeah. ideas, David Jordan Williams. And so there was things that, I, you know, I would bring him things and he would come back with ideas. And it was like, and it, and it was just rolling yeah. beautifully and beautifully. And you could see something that nobody's ever done before was in the making. Yeah. So when that happens, everybody that's involved kind of gets elevated to another place. And even, even if you are working on something that is going to be somewhat unfamiliar, if people don't have a thing to compare it to, then they, you know, they're like, I, you know, I, I don't know what this means. You know, it needs to be comparable to something else. Mm -hmm. And so it was a, it's a bold move to come and do something like this. Yeah. And uh, Is it limited edition? It is. Yeah, yeah. There is. There's only 2,500 of these. I can, and they're all signed and numbered, right. and the, the lithographs in here, I mean, one of the lithographs in here, and the, they're numbered mm -hmm. and, um, and signed, and uh, one of the lithographs will be worth what this whole thing yeah. is. I mean, much more yeah. than what this whole yeah. thing will be. But we just, you know, it wasn't about that. It was really about doing something that helps balance a little bit of what today is. As music just floats through the air nowadays, you order music, you know, through the, the clouds and, and all of that. <laughs> Always, when there's a great balance in something, when, when it is going through the clouds and then you do something that ties it to the ground again, it just feels good. It just feels like, ah, oh, there is a balance in this. So that was part of the idea behind this, but it was really the contribution of these amazing yeah. artists yeah. and what they do, that they were just so generous with this, and nobody knew what, why or where this was going. It was all clairvoyant in its own kind of way, and it just turned out to be so spectacular that Larry Gagosian said, we have to launch this at the Gagosian Gallery on Madison Avenue in New York, and it's like, they don't do stuff like that, you know. But because Richard Prince, he represents Richard Prince, and understands his value very much, he said, we've got to do this at the Gagosian Gallery. So, and, you know, and Larry was there, and Richard was there, and, and, it, and it was just great that we were all able to share this mm -hmm. and that thing. And then Jan Wenner had a, an after party after that, and it was an amazing wow. collection of people from the art world right. and from the music right. world and everybody connecting and you think, ah, oh, this is just good medicine. Yeah.